Welcome back everybody from Around the Bend. I'm your guy Bentley, aka Around the Bend, and welcome to part 31 of the series. Happy Monday everybody. It's a beautiful day to start off the week, so I hope you all are feeling good, and I'm so excited that you guys are here. And if you are new, please go back to the beginning of the channel so that way you can watch all the episodes and catch up to exactly where we are. Are, and if you haven't known, but you will know because we have a like goal of 300, so go ahead and smash that like button. And as you're hitting that like button, go ahead and hit that like button for every single episode all the way up to this point. And if you are already caught up, go ahead and smash that button for me one time, two times, three times, so that way we can get this video up and going. If you like the content that you see, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok, all at Around the Bend. Follow one, follow all, the more the merrier, I say. Just join the fam, join the love, and be happy to see you at any of those places. All right, well, let's get ourselves started. Today's gonna be a great episode. We're gonna really be working and grinding our way uh, up to make sure that we get caught up to that gym, all right? so. That ace is level 43. We ain't there yet, so it's kind of scary. So we're gonna take some time, grind up today, and then in the meantime, while we grind, it's gonna be like, oh my goodness, all of this is is just him grinding. Yeah, true. So I'm going to. The plan is is to answer, or like I looked up some random questions for you two. You know, just like get to know you kind of things, and I'm gonna answer. You know, some of them, all of them, whatever the case may be. And if you guys kind of like this kind of episode, maybe this will turn into a stream kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like something later down the road is kind of like Q&A. We all talk, we chit chat and everything else like that. Um, but that's what we'll do. Our plan is to get our Matang to a Metagross. And so let's deep dive into our team recap. And so that way we can get started. All right. So we have Champ here at level 39. What, 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 what? Uh, relaxed nature, having the choice band with Vital Spirit, Water Gun, Mudshot, and Tackle. Water Gun, Mudshot, Tackle, and Muddy Water. Just learned that, I was excited. Then we have Endeavor here, our Tide Flows down level 36 with Flame Wheel, Quick Attack, Smoke Screen, and Morning Sun with the Q Charm ability and the Calm Nature Holding Charcoal item. Then we have Hundo here, our main focus for today, the Matang at level 33, Hardy Nature, with Siggy Hold ability, Takedown, Confusion, Metal Claw, and Jion. Then we have Surge here, the Electabuzz at level 34, with Thunder Punch, Swift, Light Screen, and Wish, uh, with the White Smoke ability, and the Gentle Nature. And then we have Spike here, the Dawn Fan at level 30, Whew. the Blaze, and the Takedown, Horn Drill, Flame Wheel, and Mega Drain. Then we have, last but not least, Andrew, our Dragonite at level 40, but Dragon Rage Slam, Thunder Wave, and Try Attack, but right away, Naughty Nature, and yeah, let's go. Let's get started. So, this is actually a beautiful, beautiful place because I just want to show y'all this real quick. Da da, da da. Bam! There's two! Two. There's two of them in there. Ah! Get some hype! We got two of them bad boys. Oh, I'm so excited. I right, yeah. Thank you, kind sir. And then this guy. I saved your president. It's okay. That guy over there gave us a champ, so I am so excited. Um, so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and get on out of here. We are gonna heal up and just take on some trainers. All right. Well, let's get ourselves healed up first. Yeah, we leave out of here. Bada bing, bada boom. Say hello. Pokemon Center, appreciate you being right there. Thank you very much. Bada bing, bada boom. And then let's get the Matang up front. There it is. Bam, we does that. We go all the way to this side. All right, yep. We're just gonna train right here. This is gonna be our little training ground. There's like four trainers. Uh, very nice, very simple. Um, and we'll just hit the versus seeker and then we'll go from there. So, first question. Blah! Put it on the layout. <laughs> uh, is wet your bed? Question mark. Wow, okay, so we're just gonna get up and going with those kind of questions right away in the beginning. All right, so 
Obvious answer, yes. Yes, I, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Could you imagine? Um, obvious answer to that is no. Oh, Jesus, I don't know, what am I, what am I supposed to use against this thing? Nothing, okay, nothing is working. All right, well, let's just, at this point, I can confuse you, okay. No, and I don't even remember the last time that I did. I mean, like, you know, obviously, you gotta deal with that when you're, you know, younger, uh, as a little kid and whatnot. Like, is the answer, have I, have I never done it? Well, I mean, we all have, like, like it, it happens. I think the worst part um, about it, I think, is waking up and then realizing that it happens and then trying to figure out what to do with your parents. So like me, <laughs> I was I was the type of kid to be like, all right, so it happens. So what do I, how do I, oh, he's a dark type. I knew that, he's water dark, I knew that, so I knew that. All right, we'll get him one more time with this. Um, and so yeah, like, it's like, okay, it happened, I understand. Now, how do I how do I sell this in a way where I don't get in trouble? So like I've tried many of things. There was one time where I would like take <laughs> I would I would see what was dry, see what was not. Um, and in order to hide it, I would change just like the under sheets. You know, dry up the thing. Like you know, take 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 like soap, water, scrub out the the, the comforter part, right? And then I would look for new sheets and then put them on. And I take the old sheets and put them away. So and then I, like I don't know what happened. Yeah, like I, I like I would I would hide it. I would hide it. It's like why get yourself because because you know I have um, my my mom don't play. My mom does not play. Um, and I think <laughs> it it was one of those things where I was just scared. It's like you could have just waken up at night and you could have just gone. You know or oh 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 let's not let's not lose this in a, in a little grinding montage here that we got going. Um, there we go. It's like why not just why not just tell? And it's just kind of like you know you're scared. You're scared. You don't want you don't want things to happen to you. And you're just like, all right. As a little kid, you think like I can get away with this. And does that actually like do you actually get away with things? No. <laughs> Mom always knows. It, it's like it's like one of those things where like you just you don't really get to get away with things. Um, but it's like you know what you you live and you learn, right? Um, and I've learned that that is not the way to do it. Um, so it happened to me, you know, a couple of other times that I was a kid and I was just like, hey, this is what this is. And the main reason for that is because I got caught the first time. <laughs> and I was like, all right, let's, let's, let's not do that to ourselves again. Um, because that is not, that is not fun when you're in trouble. So, yeah, good question, good question. All right. Second question, do you talk to animals? Honestly, I think that's such a great, I think that would be such a great power, but like, I know that's not the, that's not the question. Um, and, you know, and for all these, um, for all these questions, y'all, um, please, please answer them, answer them with me. Leave a comment for every question. I wanna get to know y'all, don't just like, let it be me on the hot seat right now. <laughs> because um, it'd be great to, to hear what your responses would be for these kind of things as well. Um, but no, I think that would be an awesome power to have if I could actually like, talk to animals. I think whenever I, I see that question, or when I, when, I, when I first thought about that question is, um, I don't know if this is like, you know, I'm 27, you know, like, you know, it, it, call it what it is. I love Pokemon, I love the game, okay? So I'm not ashamed. I love it. You love what you love, and then and you and you and you continue to pursue that. That's just what it, that's just what it does. That's what it do. Okay. Great. So with that being said, the first thing I thought of when I heard this question is of um, the wild thornberries. Yeah, and the little the little girl who got the uh, I think Eliza is her name. She got the power to be able to do that. Um. But like her only thing is that she couldn't let anybody know that she had it. Otherwise, she'd be she'd lose the power forever. Um, and she actually did lose the power. Like the, oh, spoiler alert! But she did lose it. It was in a, like a movie, and she had to do all these other things to like try to figure it out. That that part I won't I won't talk about. Primarily because I forgot. But <laughs> but I think it's cool. Um, and then like you know, but to to like even make it even better. <clears throat> 
Cause like she can she can talk to them and they can talk back, but that's about it. That's her extent. Like she can just understand them. She can't really have them like you know go scout this place and go tell me what you saw or like kind of thing like that. Don't, that don't happen. So I think another good user of this like animal thing is like the um, from my hero, like the Annie voice bad guy. Yeah, I know. I understand that the personality is like very very like quiet and um, like shy. Telling you, get the confidence going. Easily one of the top three heroes when they when they get older. Easily, easily. I put I like you all can tell me it's Deku, Bakugo, and Todoroki. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. But Deku, I'm not even going. I'm not even going front. That makes sense. Todoroki, same kind of deal. Kind of makes sense. Now Bakugo on the same hand. I don't know. He could he could possibly get beat out by 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 the anti voice guy. Now, now, let me explain myself. Let me explain myself. The reason why I say that is because we, we've seen, like, little tastes and tidbits here and there of, like, what these animals can do. And, like, when, we, when you take into consideration of heroes, yeah, you need to be able to defeat villains. Okay? And we can talk about that in just a second. But another big part, and which is why um, Deku... Is like even in the program, you know, if it is even in school, is because of his ability to save somebody. Like, right? he got his hero points. Um, and that's where I feel like, okay, that does not work. Uh, let's put you to sleep. Okay, yeah, let's put you to sleep. Okay. And so, sorry, I just, whew, I just making sure that we was good. Um, and so, when we think about it, you got your hero points, and that's like what—that's the only reason why Deku's in it, right? And when you, and when you think about Bakugo's quirk and and how he's used it thus far, my man is a beast, genius. Uh, like mobility, strength, his 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 maneuverability, like beast, beast. Ain't nobody questioning how strong that boy is and how strong that that boy will be. Now, however. Have we seen him use it to save people? Have we seen his personality to be in the which the case where it's like, yeah, let's do that, let's do this, all right? Like, he does it when he has to, but like, does it, it, it looks like nobody wants, you know, nobody wants to deal with that. It's part of why um, Best Genius was just like, yo, we gotta temper that down, you know, so that way people can, you know, you get a personality that people can actually like and, and see them like, and some of you are probably thinking, well, like, well, look at Endeavor. Like, he just, you know, he just fights and does all this other stuff. Right. But that's why he's, like, number two, you know what I'm saying? Because All Might also provided that, um, that hope and all that other stuff. So now, if you have Deku who can do that and, like, still take down people, and then you have Todoroki who can do that and still take down people, you know what I'm saying? It's just kind of like, where do you really fall in line? Do people really want another one? Um, and I missed. I missed. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to miss. Thank you. Three. Um, and so when we think through that, I'm like, I can see him coming up just because, yo, those animals, problems. Somehow when he like yelled out and, um, oh, there we go. He's asleep. Okay. He yelled out and then all them birds, like that's from the movie, but all them birds came around. Um, when they was in the, um, the licensing test, all, all that whole the bugs when it took the present mic he can control insects it's like he has the ability to control them not just like not just talk to them but control them now you mean to tell me like heroes can't stop like these like a horde of like silverback gorillas or like a horde of like you know like like the 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 wildebeest you know shout out to mufasa because it was really sad oh my gosh that happened oh why am i confused oh all the things all the things oh my goodness sorry y'all this is just these these thank you i'm out of confusion all right go to sleep don't confuse me again all right thank you all right that does nothing should i just use takedown and that does nothing all right looks like takedown it is all right <clears throat> oh my gosh Oh my gosh. There we go. Uh, water gun does a lot. Let's, let's just heal just, just for now. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, we'll get it. Cheese. Cheese. Jeez, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Gosh. All right, so yeah. So his his villain stopping power, huge. Can get bugs and all that sort of stuff to, to, to capture things, slip through stuff. He has the birds above the, the, the air to like find people. He has the fish in the sea to find people. Like he can, he can, he flies on the wall. You know what I'm saying? He can do, he can do all sorts of things. Um, and, jeez, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. That's, that's, I got, he got two defense drops. I don't know what he's planning. We're just gonna end it right here with that. Here's a wish for you guy. There we go. Go ahead, Hundo. Miss, there you go. There's a wish. Oof, love it. Love it. Okay. Um What was I gonna say? So yeah, oh yeah, there we go, now I remember. <laughs> When you like get into Pokemon, you kind of like lose your train of thought. And I hit Yawn again because I was talking too much. All right. So it's just like, um, I just feel like he has so much potential on finding villains, s surveying where the villains are, capturing the villains, taking them down if needed, and then what should we call it? And then he can he can just save them. Like he can just save so many people. He can easily find out where they're trapped in buildings. He can easily like finagle insects to move into things, safely secure places, and then drop it all down. Like he can just do so much, especially because he can control insects as well. So I just feel like I just feel like that is that's OP. And like I don't know how else you can say it's not. So that's my thought process. And we are a little, we are a bit more than halfway and we are just taking forever. Oh my gosh. You know what I do? You know what I want to do? I think I'm going to take on the second row trainers. Because I'm just like, I, I need these levels to go up faster than this and it's and it's not going anywhere. Oh, we're at level 37 now, which is good. Boom. I keep forgetting you were like rocking whatever. Boom. Out. And then this is the guy that I want to use the ice type on. Right, perfect. Yeah, that, okay. That was nice. Okay, so, I mean, so back to the question at hand. Do I talk to animals? <laughs> I know I just went on a rant about everything else, but um Yeah, I do. I think I think it's 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 nice for them to like hear you think of them or see them like that, you know, like, who's a good boy, who's this, oh, come here, like, you know, like, that's why animals, they, you know, they get used to their names and everything else like that, um, I grew up with, I grew up with cats all the time, like, uh, in my family, I, I initially wanted a dog, um, love dogs, and then just wanted one forever, but my mom's like, no, she's like, when we were younger, she was just like, I, you, and your sister, shout out to my younger sister. Um, but you and your sister will not be able to take care of this dog and then you're gonna leave it all on me to do that, so I don't want to. And so we had to like figure out what other animal we could get. We tried to wind her down with the dog, but she wasn't really having it. Next thing you know, my mom just comes up and says, Merry Christmas, here's a kitten. <laughs> We're like, okay, we got a cat. We can, we can do that. Um, and so that was like really nice. Of her to be for her to do, no. Um, and so it's like I, I've learned, I, and then from there we just had litters and different cats and everything else like that. So it's just it's just real nice. They like, they really really like, they really like you, you know. And, and if you can if you can do that with a kitty, and and, then, and they like purr and stuff, and they like get to know you and all that other things, it's like why not? It's like why not? So, I know, I'm all for it. I'm all for the talking. Okay, all right. So we got through that question, that question. 
Are you hungry 24/7? Hmm. Well, that's funny. I think I think I think that's asking like two things. I think are you hungry 24/7? I think that's possible for anybody, really, unless they're like, you know, unable to afford food and everything else. And luckily enough, I am I am I'm like I'm lucky enough to not be in that position. So for me, am I hungry 24/7? No. Um, but what it can come down to though, however, is that can I eat 24/7? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like I I love food. I I, I really do. I, it's it's my favorite thing in the world. And there's just something about <clears throat> how people put things together to make it taste the way that it does. Oh my goodness, I knew that. I did that again. It's just amazing. And then, like I like one of like my favorite reality TV shows is House Kitchen just because like I watch I like watching it. And then I'm like I'll get behind like my um, stove and like like do little things and like try to like make it myself. <laughs> but I know I love food. Um, I am from Haiti and I've been to Haiti multiple times. Um, and luckily for mom, my mom showed me my culture, showed me my roots. Something I'm truly blessed uh, for and being able to do that. But like food there is amazing. It's amazing. Uh, yes, we can learn psychic. Oh my gosh, yes we can learn. Okay, well we. Well, let's just take that off. Yeah, we're gonna take off confusion. Yeah, we're gonna take off confusion. Um. Ooh, nice. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh, we do this. Look at this. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna keep going. Oh yes. Take them all off. Nice. Oh, love this. Right, I know we have that seal type move, but that don't matter. Look at that. Oh, Psychic's going to do work. Psychic's going to do work. Oh, we're going to... What up? What up, son? Oh, okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. We clean up with Metal Claw. So that ain't got to worry about you, too bad, because look what I just learned. Bam. Yup. Yup. Say goodbye, Matang. But you don't know this, though. Uh, it doesn't really... It still don't do much. That hits more. Boom. All right. Okay. But yeah. But the food there is so good. It's so good. It's like I, I like. It's my favorite vacation spot to go to is Haiti, and it's like even though it feels like I'm just like going home, it's like totally different experience. One thing about the food is just like it's all like just it's all fresh it's all fresh you know what i mean like that's and i think this is why i love food so much because of the way that like my family um cooks but everything is grown everything is grown from the plants that we eat to like the potatoes and everything else like that is literally all grown um if they need you to get more groceries or anything else like that we're going to a farmer's market um, and so they're they're getting the fresh food from other people. Like if we don't have it in our gardens, and we're getting we're getting it from somebody else's gardens. So like that's always fresh. Um, there, the the beautiful part is is that there's like no pesticides either involved in any of it. So like there's no chemically engineered any of that stuff. It's literally like, all right, here's some dirt. I'm planting the seeds. We're gonna, we're gonna water it. We're gonna give it some sun. We're gonna watch it grow, and then that's that. And like, how can you, how can you just not love that? And it's like, it's just so much better for you. So in Haiti, I think that question from 24 seven, like, am I hungry 24 seven? No, but would I like to eat 24 seven? Absolutely. You can give me that plate anytime and I'm, I'm, I'm yuck, yuck, yucking it up. I'm just yum, num, num, you know what I'm saying? Um, another cool thing is that like, especially with the, the meat, it's crazy. Cause like, again, it's, they like, uh, a chicken, for example, they just get a chicken, you know, for a little baby chicken, and you, you know, they they just have it a little around and they just feed it like little scraps and things like that. But like, there's nothing that's gonna make it like chemically bigger or things like that. They're walking around, you know, they're not you're not worried about whether or not these chickens freaking broke their legs or something, you know, like you've seen just kind of like how things are processed and all that stuff. And America sometimes they like you feel really bad, but at the same time you're like, is it good? Is it good? Like you're hungry, and like at least in there you just don't really worry about like how the animals are treated and how you're able to eat that and all that other stuff too. So 
it's just delicious. And then I don't even know, there's this like, there's this thing called Epis. I don't even know, I don't even know what is in it, but it is just like this, this random jar. It could either be in like a butter thing. It can be in like some rent, like an old peanut container. I don't know, but it's, it's this like green substance that is the essence of all that is good. The essence of all that is good. Did y'all did y'all hear me? It is the essence of all that is good. Because it's just like when when it, it, you like if you're like making Haitian food and like one of your staples is to have that. I don't know what it is. <laughs> um and I usually just have my mom like make me some so that I can pick up and like cook in my own house. And I, y'all, I'm actually getting really hungry just even talking about this stuff. Um, but it, it, it's just this, it, when you like, you put your little oil in, you like heat that up. And then once you put that in, your whole kitchen just floods with it. And you just kind of like, you ever seen like those, um, those old cartoons um, where it's like, if they <clears throat> smell like a little, little, you know, the cartoon, like the old lady puts out the pie in front, in front of the window and you start to see the smoke come along like this and then and then you just it just catches people like <laughs> and then and you just kind of like walk in and all that stuff it's just like yes it's just like woo. and that's how i feel that's how i feel it just tastes so it is, it's just it's the staple of it all um so that is kind that is where my love of food came from i i am I, I love food, I love Haitian food especially. And then because of that, I'm just like, all right, cool. What are other things that like I could do or I can make that's like somewhat close to like, like that cooking. And you know, nothing, nothing I've made comes close to that, um, but it's just like real nice. And y'all, we are five levels away. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Um, but I could eat, I could eat. And then and then the thing is, so like, that's all like the nice, so you get, you get, you get D. D is what we call rice. But there's like different kinds of rice. And then when I say that, it's because um, there's also this thing called D kole. And it's like a literal, um, a little translation is stuck rice. Kole means kind of like, like it's stuck. And you're like, huh? That sounds weird. And but but it's not because it's delicious. Because the reason why it's what it's stuck to is stuck to like like you make it with beans. And so like you know everyone has like their own kind of things. It's like you call it rice and beans or whatever the case may be. And and it's like the color the, the white rice changes to the color of what the beans are. And so we just call it dijicole. That's our our name for it. And that that in itself is delicious. My favorite meal I will say is d which is white rice um then you got sauce pois, which is bean sauce and you got sauce vion which is chicken sauce and i i i don't i like y'all when i tell you it's a game changer it's white rice then they like they like cook the beans blend half of it make a puree boil the other half of it put it all in throw some spices in there, does some magic. I don't know what the magic is, but it happens, it's in there, and it's delicious. <laughs> and so you pour that over the, the rice. Then they put that piece with oil and then, and then like all these different vegetables and all these other like different um, spices in it. Maggi, like the little, little gold cubes, little, little bouillon cubes. I'm telling y'all, and then they mash that up in there and they do something with the sauce, they add some water to it. And then that like boils up and then they like spice up um, the chicken that you're eating, you know, like little drumsticks here and there, some meat and all this other stuff. They throw that in there, that cooks up all together. And then so like the the, the, the sauce gets the, um, the meat flavorings and all that other good stuff in there. And you're just kind of like, and, and you pour that in there. And so like you pour that over it and like that has like veggies and like all that stuff in it. And you get some of the chicken, you know that, and then you eat that. I just, I just don't, I just haven't met a person where you, you give them Haitian food and they're like, nah. I've never met, I've never met a person. I've never met a person. And people might be like looking at it as like, oh, this is different. Oh, what's this? Or what's that? And they like ask these questions and you're kind of like, just eat, just eat. Just take one single bite and eat up. And like, and that's what I like, and that's what I did. 
And so that is, that is that is where that question goes. Am I hungry 24 seven? Nah. Can I eat 24 seven? Absolutely, especially if you put Haitian rice, Haitian food in front of me, Haitian rice, Haitian baked mac and cheese, Haitian spaghetti, all these other things, I'm, I'm here for it. And yes, Haitian spaghetti is definitely a thing. It is not your normal spaghetti where you just have your pasta and then you have your your, your spaghetti sauce that has like, may have some meatballs on it and stuff. No, spaghetti gets cooked in with everything. It gets cooked in with everything and then it just comes out, it just comes out different. It's just different. We're different. We're different in a good way. I think, I think in addition to the question, are you hungry 24 seven? I need, the comment section, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to do me a solid. Write down or comment down your favorite recipes. What is what is your favorite thing that, or not recipes, but what is your favorite meal that you had when you was young? Cause I, I like, no one's hungry 24 seven. Again, unless you're very less unfortunate, which again, I, I'm sorry if you are. Um, I, I'm just lucky enough that, that I'm not in that case. Um, but what is your favorite childhood meal? As you can tell, mine is the white rice, the bean sauce, and the, and the chicken sauce. Delicious, delicious, that's what I call it. Um, so yeah, we'll wait for that, all right. Okay, that was a really good one. I actually really enjoyed that question. Okay, next question. Do you cry in public? Do I cry in public? The answer to that is no. Nah. <laughs> I do not cry in public. I try. I like it, it is not a, not a lot of things that like get me to that stage um, in which that is. Um, actually, no. That's not true. I definitely have. When I'm with my friends, you know, and something real sad happens, or like something triggers in me where I'm like, I just feel love. I tell them. And when I tell them I feel in love, tears happen. It's like, it's like your, your family, your family. And then I got to, when I speak to my family, I get a little teary down, I get emotional. It's like, it is what it is. It happens, it happens. Um, <laughs> but that's about it though. I don't like, I'm not the type of guy who like, I can see something real sad and then like start crying and things like that. Like it would take something as emotional as like, you know, the bro talks, the, you know, the bromance and then getting together with that. Or like, you know, obviously if you're at a funeral or something and like things just like hit different and just like, you know, you, you think about so many other different things. You think about your own mortality, you think about where you are in life and just kind of like all the different, you know, you know like that's just a whole other mindset that you just like, you know, you just, you just go down path and thinking about that. Um, but it's really funny though because my fiance on the other hand can can just go. <laughs> she can go, um, and, and it's so great because we're, we're like totally different when it comes to that. And for example, we can watch Survivor, and you know something happens on Survivor, and I'm just kind of like, oh, you know, that's tough. Like like that like I that. As in, that doesn't look good, or that sucks, I'm sorry. You know, you, know, you feel bad for the person and that's kind of it. I turn, like it's usually, usually um, the way that our living room is set up is that we have a nice uh, sectional, like so we have a four piece sectional, so it goes like straight this way, this way, and then we have a nice little L. Uh, and the beautiful part about that is, is that, cause, cause, so there's, you have this piece, this side, that's like a couch, you have the corner piece, you have another uh, couch and you have the L. Beautiful part about that is, is that me and my fiance, we we never fight. We never fight about the corner because the corner is always at the greatest spot. So we have two corners. So you have the corner that like loops around, or you have the L corner, and, and it's amazing because we both have like agreed, uh, kind of like you know, yeah. You know, everybody's a creature of habit. You kind of go to the place that you like, you like the most, and she loves that other side of the corner the most, and I love the L the most, and so it just it works out really well. Um, and so I just sit in the middle by the L kind of thing like that's like, you know, sometimes that's, I lay diagonally, sometimes I lay on the L and she always sits in her corner. So we watch Survivor, we get to Survivor and Survivor has those moments where they, they will show something that's like, oh man, that like you feel for the person who either went through it or is going through it. And I'm like, dang, you know, sorry guy or dang, sorry girl, like, you know, like we don't, Nobody really wishes anything bad upon people, but like, you know, it, it sucks that they had to go through that. 
Um, and I turn to my left, I, I just I just do one of these. Tears. <laughs> it's just straight tears just coming down at all times. And you're just kind of like, whoa, I didn't even know that hit you that hard. And she, <laughs> she's just looking at me like, don't you feel it? Like, don't you feel it? Isn't it sad? <laughs> Big old eyes. I'm like, oh man, you know, this is this is real for you. And I'm like, I felt it enough to to, 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 to tear up. No, but I definitely felt it. So I think I think I think those are the really only two bigger things that I kind of like really get sad or like or, or willing to not willing to, but like. More so where I feel like emotion will take over me is like if we're good disable, gold duck, good disable. But yeah, I think I think those are like really it. Just like kind of like at a funeral or like a week or anything where um, death is involved. Um, it's a really hard thing for me. Um, but other than that, oh, and then bromances, you know, bro talks. Talking about love, you know, you feel love, you get supported by love, and then you go. I'm expecting a ball like a little baby at my wedding. Um, I know that's gonna happen. I know that's gonna happen for sure. Um, and so, but there, there, there will be another. There will be another time. You know, just, just get so overwhelmed with love, like happy tears, happy cries. It's just amazing. Okay. Are you always happy? Are you always happy? You know what? I don't know if there's anybody who can say yes to this question. I really don't. I think you can be happy 90% of the time. I think people who got it real good can be happy maybe 95% of the time. But it's like, in order to know what happiness is, I'm gonna get real deep with y'all. I'm gonna go real deep. Really. In order to know what happiness is, you have to know what sadness is. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't know the difference in, in the ups and downs like there's no up there's no down you're always going to be neutral so if you're seen as always happy you know people can look at you as like you're always happy but you won't really know what happy is unless you, you venture down so like i don't know i don't know but for me no i mean like i'm an old person like i like you know there are there are days where you get frustrated there are days where you get upset by things there are days where you get overwhelmed there are days you get tired bored um you know and there are days where you just can't even figure it out what it is that you're feeling. Um, I like to think that I'm a happy-go-lucky person. I like to be silly. I like to joke and make things bigger than they are. I think it's I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I think it's really fun to like dramatize things. Dramatize, just, just, just making a big deal for no reason because I think it's hilarious to see people's. Um, what you call it? To see people's reactions. And it's great. <laughs> Might not be great for them, but I love it. <laughs> and you know, those who stick around, those who 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 are my peeps, my peoples, like, they love it too. It's like, you know, it's like you expect it. It's like it's just it is what it is. It is what it is. Um so am I always happy 24-7? No. Um, but do I try to make the best out of life? Absolutely. Do I like to be happy? Absolutely. Um, do I like seeing others around me happy? Absolutely. So like, I would definitely be a clown with my friends um, and all that other stuff, which is so funny because if I go somewhere, um, I, I'm, I'm mute. Go somewhere by myself, can't happen. I gotta, I gotta, gotta have at least one person and I'll be the most ridiculous person you've ever met. And I, and I think that's like the case with a lot of people but like you know and and i am really jealous of people who can be like themselves outright that can just be like i don't know nobody in this space but you drop me in here it don't matter i'm gonna I'm I'm do this it ain't me it ain't me partner i gotta you give me one or you know i'm able to spend a lot of time with 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 just like this one person i'm there i'm there i'm in there or if you give me a game I'm in there as well. Oh, I like I like takedown. Um, that is 90, but it hurts me. 90. Iron defense. I think that's. Woo! I give that little thing a break. Um, I think that would be 
really good to have. Is there anything else that we could potentially learn? We are going to learn Meteor Mash, which will take out um, Metal Claw. And then we'll learn Agility. No, we'll, we'll, take, we'll take this off. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I love games. You give me a game. You give me a game to play with people. I'm in there. I'm in there. I, I, can, I can do games with any. Days. Um, and that could be board games, that could be theater games, that could be anything. I was actually a theater major, y'all. Um, theater major because in, in high school, I... In high school, I did 16 shows. Yeah, that's the right number. I did 16 shows in high school. Um, and it was, it was, I mean, it was a grand old time. I did two musicals, uh, performed in that many other amount of plays. I've even directed a show. Um, I student directed and also came back to my school and directed after that. So, I mean, great times. Um, absolutely great times. And so, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And, and one of the fun parts about it is like our warm ups. You, you got different things like peel the banana, you got your. The other one, you got Wah, you got Zip Zap Zap, you got all these different games that people play, and you no, know, I we should we should. If I get more people here, we can. Wah Wah Wah. That game is actually a, a blast. Ninja is also another good one. And so these games are supposed to be ridiculous, and you're supposed to feel ridiculous while you're doing them. Um, because the more that you are, the more limber and everything else that you get. So if you if you give me that game in a group of people who I don't know, oh, it's me. I'm a rap. And then from there, everyone's like, oh wow, he, he made this bigger than life. And I'm like, yeah, I absolutely did. I absolutely did because this game is that much fun. And so I think that's what will take me out of my show. Other than that, pretty quiet at first, which is really weird because that's like, not me 90% of the time. Uh, just because like I told y'all, I like to make people happy at the same time. But I just got not figure out but like it's just it just takes some time you give me give me give me a little wiggle room you know and and let me little let me warm up a bit and once but like once once i get going once that on switch turns on that's it there's there's no going back like once it says on that off side it's gone forever 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 see ya all right y'all um i know this is a much longer episode than what we are normally used to but i thought you know, just like even halfway through this, like it would not be fair to you all if I just spent the next episode continuing to grind up. And so I was just like, you know what? Let's just, let's just keep going. And that way we can get ourselves right into the gym in that next episode. And you guys get more content today. So I hope you all feel excited about that because I definitely do. We just got a medical school. We just got our meta rooms. We just got our meta rooms. <laughs> oh, you silly, silly boy, you. Yeah, you do nothing. Bada bing, bada boom. Get ready for the timestamp. Okay. Yup. Goodbye. Goodbye. Leave me alone. There we go. Hey, now. Hey now, look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them. Hey, hey. Metal gross, metal gross, metal gross, metal gross, metal gross. Metal gross. Look at him. Love it. And then we get to check his ability. But you know what? We'll do that next time. <laughs> Thank you all so much for what? No, that's not fair. That's not fair. Let's. <laughs> you guys have been here with me this whole time. Let's let's see what we have on this bad boy. Summary. Synchronize. Passes on status problems. I actually really like that. I like that a lot. They, you know, they hit me with the perilous. Boom. You got it. I'm going to now heal myself back up. Boom. You stuck with it. Sleep. You get sleep. So that way we don't touch nothing. We don't, we don't, we, nothing happens to us. You poison me. You get poisoned. I antidote up. I actually really liked it a lot. 
All right, well, let's just go heal then. Ooh. All right. Were you always outside? Yeah, you were always here. Okay. Let's go heal. Bada bing, bada boom. Hi, hopefully see you again. Okay, and this is now the time. So, let's try it one more time. And thank you everybody so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, we had three questions for today, which were, no, three. What's your bed? Talk to animals. Are you hungry? Do you crap? I'm like, are you happy? Oh, we have five questions. We have five questions today. Um, so I really hope that you enjoyed that time. I really, uh, really liked being able to just talk to you all. Um, and so please, in the comment section, answer the questions. Let's get to know each other. Let's really grow this community. Let's grow this family, y'all. And really get to know one another. Uh, you now know more insight about me. I would love to get to know you all as well. So comment your answers down below and let's just have fun with it. Uh, if you enjoyed the content that you saw, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok, all at Around the Bend. Follow one, follow all the more, the merrier. We just here for a good time, for the fun time. You know what I'm saying? So if you haven't already, smash that like button leave a comment subscribe if you haven't already make sure that you hit that little bell button so that way you don't miss out on part 32 that drops on wednesday so until then peace